What is public debt and why should you care about it? Public debt is how much a country owes its lenders in aggregate. A lender could be an individual or a business. For example, a bank or a financial institution. A lender can also include other governments or development partners, and they can be domestic or foreign. Public debt is created as annual budget deficits accumulate, the results of years of government spending more than it earns from revenues. When a country spends more than it collects in revenue in a particular period, it creates a budget deficit. This gap in the budget is often filled by government borrowing from either domestic or foreign creditors. This borrowing gets recorded on the government's books as a financing source and on its balance sheet as debt to be repaid. Public debt is also called sovereign debt and usually only refers to the national debt of the central government. Some countries, however, also include the debt owned by states, provinces, municipalities, and even state-owned entities like utility companies. Therefore, when comparing public debt numbers between countries, make sure the definitions are the same. You'll often see public debt represented as a nominal amount, or more commonly, in a ratio form as a percentage of a country's gross domestic product, or GDP. Public debt, when used wisely, is an important way for governments to finance investment and long-term economic growth and development. And wise use is where public debt management comes in. Public debt management is the process of developing and implementing a strategy for managing government debt to raise necessary funds, for meeting risk and cost objectives, and for achieving any other sovereign debt management goals a government may have set. These can be developing and maintaining an efficient government securities market. Governments strive to guarantee that both the size and pace of expansion of their public debt is fundamentally sustainable in the short and the long term, and that it can be repaid under a variety of situations, while fulfilling cost and risk goals in a larger macroeconomic framework for public policy. So, public debt management is not an isolated public function, but is rather done coherently within a broader economic policy framework. Why is public debt important? For one, it often has to do with size. The debt portfolio of a government is often the country's largest financial obligation. Debt frequently involves sizable, complicated, and potentially challenging financial arrangements posing significant risk to the government's balance sheet and the stability of the financial sector. But it's not just an issue of size. Debt portfolios, poorly structured in terms of maturity, currency, interest rate composition, and large unfunded contingent liabilities, have been important factors in triggering economic crises throughout history. For example, irrespective of the exchange rate regime, or whether domestic or foreign currency debt is involved, debt crises have often arisen because of an excessive focus by governments on possible cost savings associated with large volume of short-term or floating rate debt. This has left government budgets seriously exposed to changing financial market conditions, including changes in the country's creditworthiness when this debt must be refinanced. In conclusion, one can say that the public debt manager in any country has a pretty important role to play. Wouldn't you agree?